Shahat comes from Pakistan's Swat district, loves dancing, and is transgender. She started a new life in Peshawar after her family refused to accept her gender identity. Chahat shares a rented apartment with transgender friends. They have little chance of finding conventional jobs, so they make a living dancing at weddings or private parties. Chahat says she regularly faces discrimination. She says she's been turned away by doctors and even harassed by police who she had called on for help. Other members of the transgender community, like Chahat's friend Baby, say they've endured extortion, threats, and brutal violence. In 2016, a transgender activist named Alicia was murdered, just one of an alarming number of attacks on transgender Pakistanis in recent years. Human rights groups say there have been at least 50 killings of transgender people in the country since 2015. But there are some signs of positive change as the movement for transgender rights gains momentum. In March, Pakistan's parliament passed a bill banning discrimination against transgender people and giving them the right to determine their own gender. Some Muslim clerics are also voicing support for transgender equality. Daho, you aham sinfta like a sangati, saridi, the khazidi, darangi, you mokluka, you watapka, dan al khazianumdi. Chahat and her friends face a long uphill battle for social acceptance, but their small community provides support and an alternative family. Chahat says she's 